Do writers want to control their story world? And if so, what should they accept as out of their control? So there's a couple different schools of thought, I guess, that writers seem to have. Um, you've got writers who think that they are God and all these characters must bow to their whim because they're the ones selling the story. I'm kind of one of those writers. There are other writers who let the story tell itself where they, they you know, basically sit back and they're just like unraveling as the characters are coming up with the ideas. I find that the people in the second group who are just letting the story tell itself are also the ones who don't outline and may get lost in the trenches along the way. I'm a serial outliner. I will not start page one until I have a bulletproof story. I will do my outline and then do a rewrite on the outline and then do a rewrite on the outline and until like the story is as flawless as I can personally make it before I even start writing the script. And then I'm just adding dialogue basically at that point. Hmm. Um, so I have complete control over everything. Uh, things might change a little bit in the drafting, like if something doesn't work, once I'm actually writing out the longer version of it, then I might make some tweaks. But for the most part, it sticks almost identical to my outline, where the point where I'm literally crossing off scenes on my outline, as soon as I finish typing it, move on to the next one. Um, whereas the people who don't outline and or let the characters live their own lives, they seem to meander more in the story. And as they're letting it go wherever it wants to go, well, that's a very good way to suddenly have like a 400 page script in front of you. And, right. you know, uh, in that case, I feel like those people should are more geared better towards novels, you know, where they can go off and on these long tangents that don't really connect to the story other than they're still using the characters. Um, so I think that's so, yeah, the two different types of writers. And I find that for the most part, those who want to play God are the outliners and those who you know, let the story live itself, don't outline as much and have a tendency of either going off on tangents or just getting lost and not knowing what's coming next. When you talked about how you almost thought it was a detriment to organize your email, I'm wondering if that's actually a strength because you like that organization and so that that sort of lends itself to this outline it's as well. It's possible, um, you know, because I do, I don't do like the, like the, the, the Blake Schneider like beat outline like I do full scenes like I, I basically write out full paragraphs of everything um, everything except dialogue unless I have like a really cool dialogue that pops in my head then I'll write it down but for the most part I my outlines are you know they're not super long uh, I'd say maybe between 10 and 20 pages do you number sorry to I don't oh, but okay. I do like I do a scene heading like I know like the locations I want these things so I still have slugs uh, for each of my things, even in my outline. Um, so like, you know, like this scene takes place internal office and then external house and blah, blah. Um, but I don't sit there and number the scenes. Oh, don't? Um, I don't really feel, find that super important um, because one scene could be multiple scenes once you're in script form, you know, like if something's in, inside a house, you could have a scene in the living room and in the kitchen and in the dining room. And it's one one sequence, but then it's like broken down into like three or four scenes, you know. So I feel like numbering it isn't really going to help me much. Um, I'm still just going scene by scene or sequence by sequence as it may be anyway. Um, so yeah, I don't number. I don't really see a point. What's the most you've ever rewritten an outline? Revised it? I have a script, James Hook. Uh, it's an origin story of Captain Hook from Peter Pan. Um, the outline went through about four rewrites. Um, then the script itself went through a ton of rewrites too, because even when I finished it, when I had the outline as solid as I thought I could get it, it was like an 18 page outline. The first draft of the script was 176 pages, way too long. Oh, okay. So a lot of stuff like got changed, you know, because it was way too long. And while trying to fix how to get rid of things, uh, started seeing like, oh, well, these two scenes could be combined. They weren't over here because it seemed important that they were individual scenes, but now I need it shorter. And so it's easier to just combine these. A few story elements even, you know, changed along the way based on reader notes, where it was like in my head, it was like, oh, this is fabulous because you're spending so much time with the story. You might not always see everything that that is wrong with it. And so once I sent stuff out, Certain readers are like, oh, this comes across as kind of racist <laughs> or this comes as sexist or this doesn't work at all because of this thing that happened back here that like you might not see it as as clearly. So that's why I always get notes. I, I always do like I do all the outlining myself. I don't really show my outlines to anybody. Um, and then I do my first draft 
and then I do my own rewrite on it before I send out anybody. So nobody sees my story until it's at least a second draft of, of the script. Um, and then luckily I get very good notes to find things that didn't occur to me even while reading and rereading my own stuff. Um, I feel like we have a tendency of getting lost in our own work and falling too much in love with things and then not seeing that something doesn't work because you love it. It's such a cool scene. But sometimes those really cool scenes are the things that aren't work, working in any capacity other than being cool. Um, and so if you can tweak things to make them better, you should. <laughs> Has anyone ever tried to talk you out of doing an outline? It's like, you know, Travis, you're spending oh, too much time absolutely. on Absolutely. Um, because again, I'm a serial outliner. I have... I have outlined, as of right now, this today, I have outlines for 14 features and nine pilots that I haven't written yet. So um, and people are like, why am I spending all this time? And I've tried writing without an outline before. I have two scripts that I actually did write without outlining first. And it was hell to write them because I didn't know what was coming next. And that infuriated me so much that I'm like, I don't know how to get these characters out of this because I'm just trying to write off the cuff, you know? And um, one of those scripts hasn't, like nothing's happened with it. And because I'm like, it's it's cool and I like it, but I don't, I it's, it's also very short. Um, you know, like your features should be, you know, like the 90 to 120 page, in that range, you know, the 90 to 120. And I think this script is like 82 pages. And it's because, you know, I'm writing it out and like it, nothing, nothing, there wasn't a lot of material there of like just coming up with the, the full story in script form. Whereas if I, if I were to have like outlined it first, I would have seen ahead of time, oh, my outline's kind of short. Like what else is there that needs to be beefy, you know, <laughs> into the story. So, um, and then the other script that I wrote without an outline, was a page quarter finalist and has been optioned by two different producers over the years, you know? So um, I don't necessarily know that it's the process not working in a script or for the script not working, but for me, writing both of those scripts, no matter how good one of them may have been to, to get option and, and place in contest, it was hell to write because I never knew what was happening and had to constantly be fixing things on the fly where, and it's much harder to, to fix a problem in a 90 page script than it is in like a five to 10 page outline. You know, if you're outlining something, it's only 10 pages and scenes need to be rearranged. You can just move scenes around and then see how it works and reread the whole thing again in like what, 15, 20 minutes of reading to see if it works. Whereas if you move something around in a feature, you could end up leaving things behind. And of course, then it's gonna affect things in the future. I would much rather rewrite you know, if I moved something at near the end, like let's say it was on page eight of my 10 page outline, I moved to page seven. I'd rather rewrite three pages, you know, as I need to, rather than in a script having to rewrite 30 pages of stuff that because it changes everything around it. Interesting. Okay, so it sounds like that works because it seems like a lot of people have an opposition to the uh, outline. So yeah. it sounds like if you couldn't do it, it would really yeah. hinder. It, your, it, mm -hmm. it hurts. Like I, yeah. I feel like, I know writing is, a lot of people say writing is supposed to be hard. Um, I don't necessarily believe that. Uh, I don't find that writing is hard if, as long as you find the time to actually write. I think it's more an issue of writing well is hard, um, coming up with the story that works. And again, I would much rather try to work that story out in 10 pages rather than trying to like fix something that was 90 pages, you know. Uh, I've seen, I saw, on Twitter, a writer recently, uh, he's a professional writer, works on, on a good TV show, um, who they were just trash talking the outlining process completely. And I'm like, well, that's fine for you. If, if you don't need to outline, then by all means. I have another friend who refuses to outline and her scripts are fantastic. But if you need to outline, and I do, definitely outline and don't listen to the people who are trash talking outline and do the process that works for you.